Omar, can you tell me how to make rum? Just tell me. Walk me through the process. Okay, it comes through this side. It comes through here. Then it has a roll of pressure. Oh. Juice goes through a primary filter. Okay, that's the primary filter, right? Yeah, primary filter. Enter the hole, the tank underneath here. It goes to that hole, right? Okay. This great piece is a pump. Uh huh. This pump right here. Uh huh. Through the pipe. Uh huh. Go through this and then the tank. Uh huh. Then it's pulled up to the evaporator. Those silver tanks over there. Uh huh. To get past the reason to serve. Ah. Juice to serve. Then it goes in this tank here, and it distills the taste right here. Okay. And it distills everything. Also, so it goes from juice right there juice to syrup, to serve. syrup, and then the distiller, distillery yeah, right there. The is through the door to the left. Okay, to the left. Okay, right there, right? Yeah. Okay. So it tastes it, and it's still about that. First oh. cup of rum, first cup of these, and that's what rum. Excellent. To get the color now, we put it in these barrels. You mm -hmm. charge it on the inside, and that's how you get the, the strength. So for five years, Ramsey is in the bar for five years. Excellent, excellent. For five years? Five years. Excellent. And so on. Oh, thank you, Omar. Thank no you, Omar. Okay. And actually, this is the, the I think no, no, the rum distillery of the Saint Nicholas Abbey. I mean, I don't know why they call it an abbey. It's actually an old plantation, and they grew sugarcane here. And obviously, a, a byproduct of sugarcane is rum and molasses and cane sugar and cane syrup. So that's it. So, I mean, that's one of the machines grinding away. So they would put the rum in those barrels that you see over there. Now this is the old plantation house in the Fort St. Nicholas Abbey. Now it's, uh, it's really quite sad because the owners of this house, uh, they used to own slaves, you know, and um, you know, they didn't really treat the slaves very, very well. They grew the sugar that made them rich. And you know, the actor, Benedict Cumberbatch, well, it was his family, you know, that, uh, well, I mean, not his family directly, but the Cumberbatch family, of which he's a member of, that owned this plantation for a long time. And so a lot of the population in Barbados right now, they go by the name Cumberbatch, because obviously, you know, when the slaves were set free, even while they were enslaved, a lot of slaves took, or, or rather, I think it's, they say took, but rather they were given forcefully the names of their owners. It's sad. Now we're gonna go in to see, the house is about 360 years old, you know. Beautiful, but with a sad history. But when no travels all around the world, I hope you get inspired about what you see. I was full of greatness, Reno is a master. Only one man against the old world in large, fighting with the monsters. Poverty I can't stand, that's where Reno is.